For us in school, we should never behave as people who know it all. We should learn, and that is why the school is organizing these lectures for you. Journalists, most of the time, appear to know it all. And that is why some well-established institutions like Media General is looking at people specializing in their fields so that we don't turn experts. Why? If you're a journalist and you decide to study other courses to specialize, that is fine. Otherwise, for media houses that want to put out very credible information, the strategy going forward, and all of you know, is to engage professionals, highly trained people who can explain the issues better to our audience. And so I would like to reiterate that journalists have the duty to adhere to the ethics of their profession. And this perhaps is the most decisive safeguard against post-truth. In practice, this demands that information is verified, validated, and validated before dissemination. This feeds into a solemn duty to adhere to objectivity, neutrality, accuracy, and truth. Finally, there's a compelling need coming local. There's a compelling need to strike the delicate balance between regulatory authority and media freedoms. This requires constructive engagements against stakeholders in both print and electronic media to permanently respond to issues around content regulation with respect to both traditional and new media sources. Ultimately, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that we have a collective responsibility to build a society that is pivoted on factual information and thrives on truth and accuracy.